We're going to be making Easter eggs with natural food products so we don't have any artificial dyes in our eggs. I know this is so important for a lot of families to avoid any artificial dyes and you can make beautiful eggs using natural ingredients. I use a lot of the items that I already have in my house. So during the summertime, we get extra berries because I know I'm going to be using these four dyes and I freeze them ahead of time. So these are from, these blackberries are from last summer. And then I put them in um, food saver bags and vacuum seal them. But even if you put them in a plastic Ziploc bag, they would still be fresh for making food dye months later. So we have frozen berries. I have blackberries and frozen raspberries here. And then I still have some, a couple um, raspberries here that are fresh that are actually from my last grocery shopping trip that were like four weeks ago at this point. And then there's fresh blueberries. I can use frozen blueberries also, just whatever you have in, on hand. And then there's some fresh blackberries here too. So I'm going to kind of go over the colors on these in a second, but these are some of the different items that I use. You can use fresh or frozen, whatever you have on hand to make the different colors. Cabbage is one that I don't talk about very often, so I thought this was a good time to kind of talk about it. When you get it from the store, you don't have to wash it and you can just take it out of the plastic bag if you brought it home in a plastic bag and throw it in the crisper drawer, just hold like this. And even after a week or so, if the outside leaves start to get a little wrinkly, Wrinkled, then you can just take those off and it's still completely fresh on the inside. Cabbage will actually last for months in cold storage. So you can get this. Um, you can use half of it um, to make the food dye and then save the other half for sauerkraut or other things that you want. I'm going to be using these for some shrimp tacos. And then the weeks leading up to Easter, I start collecting the onion peels. So whenever I go to cut an onion, I just start making a pile of them. I want to have a few onion peels. And so I just, as I'm going, I do that. And if I forget, and all of a sudden <laughs> we're, it's time to have items for Easter egg dye and I haven't saved the pills, then I can just cut up the onions and save them either in the refrigerator in a glass jar with a metal lid and there will be no smell of onions in your refrigerator. Or you can put these in the freezer as you slice them up or chop them up however you're going to use them and reuse them that way. So onions can be frozen or they can just go into the refrigerator for about another 10 days. And then normally I do beets also. So the beets um, I have here are canned. I do have some in the freezer also, which I'll probably end up using when I go to make the dye. So these are beets. And then I'm so bad at pronouncing this. We will probably end up having to pause this and redo it and all the things, but this is turmeric. This is turmeric. I have such a hard time saying that. I am not going to lie. <laughs> this is the root, but you can also use just ground. I'm going to go through what all of these different colors will end up being. I just want to go through the ingredients first. You will use a little bit of vinegar and water. And then these are my favorite size jars. For one, they fit easily in the door of my fridge, which gets them out of the way for me. But the I can put like three-ish eggs in each jar because these will sit overnight. This is not something that you do super quick. Um, they do need to sit overnight to deepen the color. And then I use, I like using a slotted spoon and then I have a hard boiled egg here and I kind of roll it down the side of the jar when it has the dye in it until it gently goes to the bottom. So I use the same spoon to get them back out later, but those are kind of the, some of the things that I use. After they are drying, I normally dry them out on a wire rack or on paper towels. I do use a little bit of oil and a paper towel and I wipe around the egg and it'll help set the dye into the egg. So I do that um, afterwards, normally I use um, olive oil. So those are all the things that we use in water. Blackberries are actually my most favorite and they make a beautiful plum color. So I love doing the blackberries. As you let it sit longer, it will deepen in color. The raspberries, which I'm gonna use frozen, the raspberries will make a lavender color egg, which is really pretty. The purple cabbage, oh, I always call it purple cabbage. Always, to me, it's purple cabbage. It's technically red cabbage know why it should be called purple cabbage. This actually makes a blue color. The onion skins make a deep burnt orange color, which is just beautiful. And then we get, with the beets, we get lavender if we leave it just for a couple of hours or pink if it goes overnight. 
it. And let's see if I can pronounce it right again. The turmeric, tur I can't say that. The turmeric will get a gold yellow color. 